Hi, um, today I am going to show you how I uh, collimate my telescopes. Um, I have uh, spent quite a lot of time getting the collimation right and also trying to get the tilt of the image train right. So, follow me and I'll show you. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to take the, the cap off and also remove the imaging train. There we go, I'm going to put this down. Uh, this is a 3 inch focuser, so I have to insert a 3 inch to a 2 inch adapter. Okay, so now I'm going to check the secondary mirror and uh, how that is aligned and uh, I am using one of these it's a concentric eyepiece sold by telescope service so basically what you're doing is you're putting this in the focuser and you're trying to get the silhouette of the secondary mirror uh, precisely aligned uh, according to one of these circles so I am going to put this in and just barely, barely lock it into position. I'm going to have a quick look. Yep. I will try to uh, film it with the camera as well. This isn't the best shot uh, at seeing how the uh, concentric circles align with the secondary mirror but it gives you a rough idea, uh, you can't actually see the outer edge of the secondary uh, right now but um, you can see the concentric circles through the eyepiece so basically this is how it looks like and you want to align one of those circles uh, to the uh, silhouette of the secondary Okay, so we have now checked that the secondary mirror is rotated uh, in regard to the focuser uh, to get it properly aligned uh, and also uh, centered uh, in the, the axis along the telescope. Um, now we want to check how the secondary mirror is aligned uh, regarding to the primary mirror so I am using a Howie Glatter laser 2 inch um, there is some threads at the bottom and basically when you are checking the alignment of the secondary mirror you want to use uh, as a small laser dot as possible so I am going to just screw this in place and this one millimeter aperture stop is included in the price uh, for the Howie Glatter laser. And this time I am not going to clamp down the laser. I am going to look through the tube uh, and adjust the secondary mirror accordingly. Okay, so I'm going to turn the laser on and I really hope that you can see the laser dot. Um, it is almost almost centered in the middle I'm going to rotate the laser to check that it's properly collimated you actually need to check that the laser itself is collimated 
So I'm going to rotate the laser inside the focuser. Yep, almost in the middle. Let's have a quick look. Yep, there we go. The laser dot is hitting the uh, center marking in the primary mirror just perfectly. We have now checked that the secondary mirror is aligned regarding to the focuser and also centered. Um, we have aligned the secondary mirror so that the laser spot hits in the middle of the primary mirror. And now we are ready for the final step and that is um, adjusting the primary mirror uh, so that the laser hits in the right spot uh, in the focuser. Uh, I have now removed the one millimeter aperture stop uh, from the laser and I am going to insert the laser in uh, this. Uh, it is a two inch tub log. Um, Inside the hole here, it is actually a couple of lenses that makes the laser beam bar load. Um, as you can see here, the laser dot is just a small dot, but when I insert it, and just barely tighten it up, you can see the spot is a lot more bigger. And now we are inserting the tube lug inside the focuser. We are now looking at the back side of the telescope. And you can see here is the tube lug. Uh, I don't know if you, if you see it up here, but actually the center mark of the primary mirror is reflected on this disc, this white disc here. And my aim now is to adjust the main mirror with some uh, thumb screws uh, back here so that the primary dot is reflected exactly around uh, the center hole in the tube log. So I am going to turn the knobs here. Okay, so there we go. Uh, it wasn't so uh, badly collimated. Uh, now the main mirrors, um, the primary mirror and the secondary mirror is aligned uh, and also um, uh, squared with the focuser. Uh, so the next step is actually to uh, take some test images um, and adjust uh, the tilt of the focuser uh, and or the tilt of the tilt adjuster. Uh, I'm going to show you that also. I have now removed the laser and the tube log and I am going to insert the imaging train uh, again. And there we go. Um, if you can see uh, these small screws, uh, it is in each corner of the focuser base that is attached to the carbon tube. Um, when I take some test images, I will first of all uh, try to get the uh, focuser as square as possible to the uh, mirrors. And we are talking now about tens of millimeters or even less. It's a quite delicate process. Um, and if you look here, 
I'm going to move the camera so you can see. It's a bit dark in here. Okay, there we go. Um, these are three uh, main screws and three uh, push screws, so three lock screws and three uh, push and pull screws. So basically you can adjust the focuser itself, but you can also adjust independently the camera sensor in regard to the uh, corrector lens. Uh, some cameras doesn't have the camera ship mounted 100% uh, squared. So, uh, but we will take some uh, test images and see uh, how the images turns out.